it's Holly and welcome to The Proper Pineapple. This is a crochet and knitting podcast. Sometimes there's other random things in there like sewing, mostly a crochet and knitting podcast. Uh, I am Holly, as I just said. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for checking us out. We hope you subscribe and stick around for all of our yarny shenanigans that happen here on the channel. If you are a loyal pineapple people, then thank you so much for coming back and watching me all the time. I simply love having this community of crocheters and knitters and crafty people who are also supportive of everything I do. And I just, I love you guys. Just wanna put that out there. Uh, this is episode number 34, I believe, unless I got it wrong, which happens on occasion, you guys. And to be honest, I've got a whole lot of nothing to show you. <laughs> I have not been working on pretty much anything. Um, there's been some stuff, like we've been busy in our personal lives, but I did have, some stuff going on so I have two projects I've been working on I have some yarny mail and then I have some stuff to update my shop so let's get started with projects we'll start with crochet I have zero I haven't done any crocheting you guys well I've done a little but like a row on one project a row on another I really nothing to like toot toot and show you guys so what I'm gonna show you I have two knitting projects and I will tell you why I have only been working on pretty much one of these two, but I did start the other one, and I'm going to tell you why. So the first one comes in this beautiful bag from Home Fire Ridge. You guys know I love her. I've even got her little stitch markers here. She sent me this um, at Christmas time, and I simply love it so much. It's so pretty. She's amazing. She will be linked down below. And I am working on a prayer shawl for a... Um, for, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and say it. My pastor's wife, um, she had a, a loss in the family. We'll just say that. I don't want to put all her business out there. It's none of mine to do that. And I thought a prayer shawl would be a wonderful way to, to show that I'm praying for her and caring for her. So I've been working on this. And so this is why I haven't worked out anything else is because I was putting like all my energy into this because I really need to get it done and give it to her. And I'm still not done. I've still got like 40 rows to go, you guys. But it's okay. We get there. So the yarn I'm using is by Shirsty Cat, and it's called, uh, it's her sock yarn. I believe it's 100% Superwash Merino. I don't got the tag out yet. But um, it's called Purple Rain on my Raspberry Beret. This is it. Let me get it up close, guys. Yep, that's it. Look at how stunning the skinny yarn is. I love this so much. I wanted to keep it, and actually every time I'm working with it here, I tell my husband, I'm like, Maybe I should make her something different. <laughs> I'm not though, guys, but you know me, I just love all yarn. So I'm using my Licky, Likey, whatever you call them, interchangeable needles my husband got me for my birthday last year. There's a piece of my hair stuck on my project. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so here it is. It is the Changing Staircase Shawl by, I think it's Dragon, uh, I'm not sure by who. I will write it down below and it will be linked down. It is this beautiful, like, it's, it looks a hot mess on the needles, guys. I'm not going to lie. Look at this. It is a, like, asymmetric triangle where you start down here on this end and then you work until it gets bigger. Um, these are tiny needles because I like working on tiny cords, I know. So anyways, so that's why it looks a little funky. But basically, this is a free pattern, so I can talk a little more about it. You do these solid sections, and then you do these knitted sections. And let me get a bigger knitted section to show you. Right now, it all looks like this, but that is what blocking is for. When it's all done, I will block it, and it will stretch out that knit to look at that beautiful lace work. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I've only done like this much lace, and then I just was like, I'm gonna do a whole shawl with all kinds of lace. <laughs> so I'm super excited. I am very close to being done with this. I think it's beautiful. Her favorite color is purple, so I think she will love this. It's super, super pretty. Don't you think, honey bunny? Yes. Mr. Pineapple's never far away, you guys. He, he's watching me. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, no, we just do everything together, so. Sorry about that. But anyways, so I'm working on that. I should have this done soon. And when I have it all completely done, I will do a finished object video where it will be blocked and I'll talk about it and go in more depth. But this is pretty much the only thing I've been working on, you guys, because I had to get it done for her, which I hopefully will have it done in the next few days. Watch. 
two weeks from now I'll do a podcast and I won't have it done. But no, I will have it done, you guys. Done! Okay, the next one is also a knitted shawl and that is because, I will tell you, it's in my bag. I made this bag for Halloween. Look at the kitties, little black cats with the pumpkins in the blue. I'm outside, so something just hit me in my face. Like, I'm not just weird, there's a car. That's actually the property behind us. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, oh my goodness, I opened. <laughs> I opened my bag, it looks like a hot mess in there. <sighs> okay, anyways, the people from Hirschner's contacted me and they said that they love my podcast and they saw that I liked working with like fingering weight yarns and stuff. So they sent me some yarn by Red Heart. It's the Red Heart, it's a wrap rainbows and a pattern to make this shawl here. This is the Shifting Stripe Shawl. Uh, it's so much fun. I love it. And they sent me two, well they sent me two cakes of each, but I don't think I'm gonna need two cakes of each. I think I just need one cake of each, so maybe there'll be a giveaway with the other cakes. So they sent me this color, which is the, it's right here. This is Whisper. And then the other color, they're connected, so it's hard here, guys, is this one. I believe this one's foggy. It is foggy and whisper. And these are the colors used in the pattern here, which you guys know are not normally my colors. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm like a hot pink, bright, flashy thing. But I think I could use something neutral like this in my wardrobe. Okay, so I am using. <laughs> Let's give me a second, guys. Because you work with the yarn at both colors at the same time. We got a little tangle issue going on here. Some tails are hanging. I got it, guys. I'm getting it. I swear. I haven't done much on it. I'm trying not to lose my place. Yet. Okay. Okay. I got it. So I am using some clover. I'm using the recommended needle size, which is a 3.25. Is that the recommended? Possibly. Who knows? I'm using a clover needle, guys. <laughs> I'm not the best knitter, stop. All right, and this is the start of it. And this is it, isn't this cute? Let me get up close so you can see it. Look, that is a stitch marker I got at the Michigan Fiber Studio in Lansing. It's eggs in a frying pan, I simply love it. Okay, so this pattern, I believe is free, which is why I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it if it's not. I'm not gonna talk too much. Basically, it utilizes short rows so that over on this side, you're getting these teeny stripes and over on this side, you get big fat stripes and you just, you work. So I'm working with color two right now. I actually think I'm done and about to go on to color one again. You just leave it and you, so I've got my tails of where I started over here, get those all the way. And then I'll just pick up color one and keep going. And then you just do that the whole shawl. I'm really excited about this. I. I'm going to say I had a little bit of difficulty. I'm not gonna lie. You guys meet. I'm gonna try to be honest with you guys. This yarn, I have never worked with anything like this. And I can only show you the tails here. So let me get a tail on the project. Basically, it is four strands and they are not spun. They're just side by side, four strands. So it's like you're working with four different yarns at once. And at first, that's a little confusing, especially for me, I've never knit that way. I've... There's a spider on my tripod. No! <laughs> it's gone, okay. <laughs> I just didn't want to get in my yarn, you guys. Anyways, okay. That's what happens when you film outside. Anywho. So it's just four strands completely apart from each other. And I know that that's what gives you the look of the yarn. I know that's the whole goal of the yarn, but I have never knit with anything that wasn't spun together. So it was a little tricky at first because you guys can see like my stitches sometimes, well, I, I got them better now, but like sometimes they get all like apart from each other. And then I have to remember to get all four pieces, oops, I almost dropped it, of each one in there. So it was a little tricky to start. And now that I've gotten going, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. So you know, you guys should remember that. Sometimes when you look at a project or yarn or something, you're like, ugh, that's gonna be difficult. Just try, give it a shot. Maybe it will turn out perfect. I'm sorry, it just got windy. So if it's gotten loud on the camera, I'm sorry. Hopefully the wind will die down but the lighting in my camper is horrible. So, that's what, so that is my only two projects, you guys. Oh, I didn't put the pattern back in the bag. 
Apparently there's an airplane too. <laughs> That's how we roll on the proper pineapple. All right, so I got some yarn mail and unfortunately, I can't show most of it to you. My good pineapple friend Becky sent me a huge box, mostly of yarn, some other little things, that um, she said I could have anything I wanted out of the box and the rest she would like me to give in the giveaway. So obviously most of it I'm just putting in the giveaway for you guys, but there was one thing I couldn't help but keep and it is this. This is a crochet hook case by Knit Picks. That little up there so knit picks crochet hook case it's so so cute anyways so you unzip it i've already modified it for my hooks <laughs> and there is zipper pot okay there's zipper pockets on this side and on this side and then there is this center piece here which had one two three four five six seven eight nine hook slots on one side nine hook slots on the other side only problem is, y'all, as you guys know, I use these like big fat ones and they didn't fit. Sorry, there's some string from where what I'm about to tell you I did. They didn't fit into the slots because they were so skinny. So what I did was I took out the seaming on the center of one to make two into one big one for my fat needles. So this side holds all my furls, um, candy shop hooks. The green one is in a project, so that's why it's not in its slot. And then I'll flip it around over here. I have a few of my touches and then my other furls, my furls streamlined swirls, they fit perfectly into one of the slots. So they are just like that. So that's what I'm doing with it. I love it so much that I'm going to go back and buy some more because you guys know I have an addiction to buying crochet hooks and I have too many. That's not true. You could never have too many, right, honey? Yeah. <laughs> never too many hooks so becky thank you so much i love this and you guys the rest of that yarn and stuff might be coming in a pretty big giveaway for april because who knows what april is raise your hands if you know what april is raise your hand it's my birthday month i'm like a kid so i was super excited because i got an early birthday present for becky here and then I got a pretty big, I got some big stuff happening in April for y'all. So you want to stay tuned for that. Okay, next is shop. I, one of the other things I was doing whilst not crocheting, I was cleaning our camper for spring. Because I know that it's the beginning of March and in most of the country, it's still snowing. But in Texas, it's 80 degrees. And we are in Texas at the moment. So it's spring for me. It's time to spring clean. And I went through, and you guys know, I had a de-stash of some of my yarn the other day, and that opened up a tote for other stuff. And then I found I had, you guys know I made a lot of project bags last year, a whole bunch of different ones. I had just a ton of scraps of these fabrics. Big gush of wind, <laughs> sorry. And I didn't know what I was gonna do with them, so I've been holding them all. And finally I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make some scrappy bags and put them up for sale because the stuff's just sitting around the house not getting used at all and i it's just a waste if i don't use it so i found scraps so some of these first couple of ones some of them are just regular bags and then i've got a bunch of scrappy bags so i will show you them all because pretty much all of them except for a couple are one of a kind bags so i found one more tiny bag of this cactus print that i was able to make so it's a cute little cactus bag I made a scrappy tiny bag of my lumberjack fabric with the logs and the inside is the log. So cute, so there will be a tiny one of those. And then I found this Mickey fabric that I had, black and white polka dots. And I have a little one and two of my larger ones, two large bags. So those are in the shop. Then I had some more of this fabric, you guys with the like cabins and it's got some mooses and it's cute. Um, and originally I had like a green plaid on the inside of this bag, but I had enough of my log to go ahead and put that in there. So that bag would be in there. And now the rest of these bags are all scrappy bags. You guys know I make these extra large scrappy bags that I just simply love. And I'm gonna show those to you now. Sorry, the trees are dropping stuff. So the first one is this panda bag. So it's got gray pandas and black pandas and it is different on both sides. So each of these bags are one of a kind. 
So you got that one, and then I, oh, on the inside, it's just black fabric on the inside. I was running out of cool fabrics. So this guy here, it's got some log and some chevron. It's got campers. It's got some of that country fabric I had. Again, both sides are different, but all the same. And the inside of this one is also just black. It's kind of boring, but these are so cute, you guys. I love it. this one. I was gonna keep, but then I was like, no, you guys would probably love it as much as I do. It's got these bugs and all these crazy orange stripes with a little yellow stripe in there too. And the inside of this one's black too. Okay, this one I know you guys are gonna love. There's one little thread on it. Sorry, let me get rid of that one thread. Gone. It is, I had some of this religious fabric left over, um, the names of the Lord. And so then I had this other one that says like faith and love, and these other ones that say stuff like, oh, I can do all things with Christ. So there's this bag in the back side of it. So cute, I love this one. This one on the inside is that like faith, love, hope, all of that with the crosses. So love that one. Here's one I know you guys will love. Mickey Mouse so I've got I had some of my plaid Mickey left and this one's actually the same on both sides it's the only one I made the same and the insides just a red fabric oh I didn't cut the threads on the inside of this one I'll do that in a moment <laughs> okay. okay this one is so cute you guys look it is mostly just like patterns and then it's got some of these squares with all the kitty cats that had like hats and stuff on it so that one's the cat one this one I know is really folly. Ooh, it's getting super sunny, y'all. It's like washing me out, but we'll make this quick. This one's folly. It has like the pumpkins and stuff and these beautiful flowers and some orange. Like over here, it says fall is, um, leaves are falling, autumn is calling, pumpkin spice and everything nice. So I know it's a fall bag, but I loved it. And the inside of this one's orange. I just have a couple more, you guys. So this one is um, arrows, foxes, and the animals. And the inside is yellow, cause yellow, y'all. I am so out in the sunlight and need to get to the shade, you guys. So I gotta hurry here. It's like the like sun shifted and it's blinding me. This one has um, my kitties that I made a bag for Al in pineapples and different paint splatter fabrics. I simply love this one. This one has rainbow string and paint black and white paint splatter on the inside. Love this one. This one was our campers. We had the little campers. It says, we don't camp, we glamp. And then it, I also have like the stars with the unicorns and just some chevrons and some different chevrons back there. The inside of this has white stars on a blue fabric with the rainbow cord. Uh, this is, okay, I'm down to my last two and these are my favorite. I wonder if I should move. Is it too sunny? I don't know. You can probably see the bags just fine, you guys. This one. Isn't this so cute? So it's got flamingos, it's got pineapples, has a little whale on this side, it has a mermaid kitty in the center. The inside of this is pink and it's got a rainbow cord. And then my absolute favorite, because I've got to get out of here, the sun is blinding me, is this one. It's got the gnome fabric with my flamingos and some green fabric. I simply love it because I love the way the green and the pink play together. And of course the inside is green. So all of these bags are up in the shop right now, you guys. Um, and I will be having, I'm watching, there are the biggest bees in Texas. There's a bee over here. It's like, he's eyeballing me. They're the size of small birds. Anyways, I'm. this is just my spring cleaning bags, but I do have some more bags that are going to be coming out very soon because of my birthday month. And I have some new designs that I'm going to be coming out with um, for these bags. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, next time, I promise, ah, there's a big bee by me. <laughs> I'm gonna call this episode the one with all the bucks. Anyways, <laughs> he's huge, he's like right there. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna run for my life right now. But next time, I will have more crochet, I will have more knitting, and like I said, probably more bags and some other stuff, you guys. And stay tuned because like I said, April is going to be a big month as far as giveaways. And there's going to be some new stuff coming for the channel and everything. So I'm going to get out of here. Bye guys.